Yo, what's going on guys? Matt here and welcome to the 2015 MLB Playoff Predictions. So, the playoffs have arrived and I have the bracket set right up here and I am going to do my best and try to predict all of these games. I'm really excited. I haven't done this for the MLB yet. I've done it a few times for the NHL and once for the NFL. And the NHL one last year went very well for the 2015 playoffs and... A lot of people watched that video, and that's because I got a lot of them right. I actually got every single one right except for one, and it was a pretty big success in my opinion. So anyways, I'm going to try to replicate that success with the MLB playoff predictions, and I'm just going to be going through each series here and um, discussing who I think is going to win, why I think they're going to win, and why I think the team that loses is going to lose. So um, just before I start, I know there's already going to be a lot of controversy in the comments, I mean, there always is, but, you know, these are my opinions. There's no need to get mad at me and other people just because you think something is different. Um, it may be the way you think it is, or it may be the way I think it is, or it may happen a completely different way than both of us. So just keep that in mind. And also, um, these are just, like I did with the NHL, these are the things that I think will happen, not the things that I want will happen. And I'll explain that um, throughout these predictions, but yeah, I'm just going to keep this as realistic as possible, just like I did with the NHL ones that paid off there, hopefully it will pay off here. So without further ado, let's get right into it with the American League wild card. We have the New York Yankees and the Houston Astros. Well, interesting. Um, the Astros actually looked like they were going to win the AL West. They actually looked very well kind of surprised everyone, but then they kept going, and everyone was like, okay, they're for real, and they still are a good team, but they just really kind of died down towards the end of the season, which really allowed the Texas Rangers to come battling back. It was a combination of them playing very well, and the Astros not playing so well, and they took over, and they're in the ALDS. The Astros, like I said, just went downhill and are in the playoffs in the wild card, but now they're not even at home. They're on the road in the Bronx against the New York Yankees. This is a very interesting one. It's going to be Mashinhiro Tanaka against Dallas Keuchel. Dallas Keuchel is a very good pitcher. He's on three days rest. I'm not sure how many days rest Tanaka is on, but I would assume it's around the same, maybe a little bit more. But um, yeah, this is an interesting one. I know there's a lot of people, um, well, obviously there's a lot of Yankees fans, but a lot of people that would like to see the Yankees lose because, you know, not everyone likes the Yankees. <laughs> Basically, if you're not a Yankees fan, you don't like the Yankees. But anyways, I'm going to have to go with the New York Yankees in this one. And here is why. Because the Houston Astros just do not play well on the road. If this game was at home, I would probably pick the Astros. The Yankees are a good team. They could still probably win. But I think that because it's in New York, because the Yankees are playing in front of their hometown fans, I think they're going to win. And I, I really think this is going to be a, a close game. The Astros do have a pretty good offense. And some well, Dallas Keuchel is going to the mound. So he'll be good. Um, but I just think they've been struggling struggling a little bit. The Yankees kind of have two, but um, I think since they're at home, and that's not only the only... I mean, it is a hitter's ballpark, so the Astros could potentially do well. But yeah, I think that the Yankees are going to win this one because they're at home, and it's just a one-game wild card. Again, if this was in Houston, I think it would go the other way. Uh, both these teams um, are really, I, I wouldn't say really, really good teams, like in the National League wild card, but they're still pretty good teams, and it's going to be a pretty good game to watch, but I'm going to have to go with New York in this one to advance and play Kansas City in the ALDS. Next up, we have the National League wild card, and that is between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago Cubs. These two teams are spectacular. In fact, I believe the Cubs uh, have a win, one more win than the Kansas City Royals, who are the first seed in the AL, so it just shows you... Um, I wouldn't say the NL because, like, if you look at the NL West and the NL East especially, uh, most of the teams there aren't that good. But the NL Central is just so stacked. you got St. Louis, the top seed, plus these two teams, the Pirates and the Cubs. Um, just two teams that really just played very well and deserve to be here. Unfortunately, they have to play in a wild card game, which is pretty disappointing. Um, and it's interesting. You have the Pittsburgh Pirates who have been in this situation many years um, or many times before in the past couple years, and they just have not gotten past the wild card game. This year, they're going up against the Cubs, who a lot of people thought would do well, but they didn't think they'd do this well. They they won 96 games, I believe, and Chris Bryant leading the way, Anthony Rizzo, Jake Arrieta, their pitcher who's going to the mound, is going to play very well, I'm sure. Um, you got a lot of guys like Schwarber, the power hitter, 
that are contributing and playing very well. Addison Russell at short. You, you can just go on and on with the names. But it's going to be interesting. This one is in Pittsburgh like it has been the last couple of years. And these fans are just hungry for a win. They want to get into the actual playoffs. Because for me, as an A's fan, with the A's losing last year, it just doesn't feel like the playoffs when you play one game and then lose. So if the Pirates want to go into the real playoffs, they're going to have to win. But they're going to go against a pretty talented and skilled and young Cubs team. And I don't know. It's going to be a really good game to watch. I think it's going to be better than the Astros-Yankees game. Um, But I think that the Pittsburgh Pirates are going to win it. And here's why. One, it's at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear that all the time, like I said with the last series. But I think that it kind of sounds weird, but... The Pirates are more experienced. I mean, they are. They have played in this game many times, and yeah, they haven't won them, but I mean, the Cubs are a new team. Yeah, they won 95 games. I get that. But they have a lot of young players that have never been in this situation before, and it's going to be maybe a little bit too much pressure. I know the the, the Pittsburgh crowd there is, is pretty crazy, and they're going to want their team to win. And I think the Pirates this year are finally going to get past that wild card game, and they are going to enter the NLDS against the Cardinals. So that is my prediction. The Cubs are a very good team. They're probably going to be back here again next year in the same spot. But um, it's just just what happens when you're in the wild card. Two very good teams that make it. Only one can move on. And this year, I think it's going to be the Pirates. So let's move on to the division series. We have the Kansas City Royals and the New York Yankees. This one, I think, is actually pretty easy. The Yankees are a good team, don't get me wrong, but I just think the Royals are a better team. They haven't been playing as well as late, but I think that they just have the overall better team, and they're, I wouldn't say, well, I guess maybe they're a little bit more playoff built, but I just think with the home field advantage, I, I, I'm going to keep saying this, but it is huge to have home field advantage, especially in the playoffs, and I think the Royals are going to get one step closer to repeating. Um or not repeating, or at least going back to the World Series um, again like they did last year, and they're going to do that against the Yankees. I'm not sure how many games this is going to go. I think it's probably going to go four games. Maybe the Yankees will put up a bit of a fight and will go the full five, but I think it's going to go four games. I think that Kansas City might lose one in the Bronx, Um, but other than that, I think the Royals are going to win this one in four. So the next series we have are the Blue Jays and the Rangers, two teams no one expected to be here, maybe a little bit the Blue Jays, um, but halfway through the season, Blue Jays made a bunch of trades and the Rangers started getting hot, all of a sudden these two teams find themselves winning their divisions, uh, the AL West for the Rangers and the AL East for the Blue Jays, and this is a really tough one, the Rangers are a very good team, unfortunately though, I think that the Blue Jays are going to win this series, and this just because they have a better team. Again, the Rangers have a very good team, they just ran into a hard opponent, the Blue Jays haven't been playing crazy good as late. They've still been playing very well, uh, but we know that really big stretch they had where they were just hitting homers. Um, and again, they have home field advantage. They always play well at home, and you know it's it's going to be a tough one. The Blue Jays they have obviously Price and they have a couple of other pitchers, but they also have some offense. Joey Bats, Josh Donaldson, Troy Tulowitzki, um, Edward in- Edward. Edwin Encarnacion. I can I never say that without messing it up. And you even got like a, a Martin. So they just have a lot of good offensive pieces. They're playing at home. They have a very good pitcher in David Price to start things off. And I think they're going to win this one in four, if not three. I don't think this is going to go the full five. I think the Rangers just kind of ran into a tough opponent this time. And I think the Blue Jays um, are going to probably go up 2 nothing, And then they're going to go to Arlington, probably lose the first one. Well, I guess they would have to lose the first one. And then win it in the fourth game before going back. Um, so it's it's going to be interesting. I think that the Blue Jays are going to win for sure. It, it is tough um, because the Rangers are a good team, but if you really look in depth, the Blue Jays should win this one, and I think they will win this one with the offensive firepower that they have. So moving on to the NLDS, we have the St. Louis Cardinals and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pirates freshly off of winning the wild card game, which, by the way, was going to be between Garrett Cole and Jake Arrieta. I didn't mention that. Uh, But Garrett Cole is going to be maybe the victorious pitcher. We don't know. But he is going to be the pitcher in that game. So he's not going to play game one. And this is a very interesting series. The Pittsburgh Pirates, obviously, um, are the underdogs record-wise because they um, have the lower record and the Cardinals are the top seed in the NL. But the Cardinals, um, they haven't been playing as good as late. So you don't really know what to expect, though. Adam Wainwright, um, I don't think he's going to start. I think he'll come out of the bullpen. I think that's what he's been doing. So it's really going to be tough to predict this one. I think it's going the full five for sure. It's going to be a very good series to watch. 
but I'm going to have to go with St. Louis in five. Now, again, it could go either way because it's obviously going to five games, and both of these teams deserve to move on. But, at this, obviously, by the by the way, guys, I think that the Cubs, if they were in the same position as the Pirates, this I think either way, this series is going to five, whether it's the Cubs against the Cardinals or the Pirates against the Cardinals. I think it's the Pirates. But I think that the Cardinals are going to win this one because they have a lot of experience. They've won. Uh, they have home field advantage, of course. I know that doesn't mean everything. Um, but just... The amount of success they've had in the past years, especially in the playoffs, um, is really going to help them in this one. So I think they move on to the NLCS and defeat the Pirates. Next up, we have the Dodgers and the Mets. So the Dodgers are going to have home field advantage, but they're going against the Mets, which are a very weird, interesting team. They have a lot of good pitchers. That was always their strength, but now they have some offense, especially with Yoenis Cespedes playing well, David Wright playing well. A lot of those guys, I know I, I didn't name a bunch of them, but... They're all playing well, and that's really what helped them um, really play well and pass the Nationals and win the AL or NL East. So um, they're going to be going up against a pretty big money-wise team um, in the Los Angeles Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw, Greinke, Puig, even if he plays, Gonzalez, all of those guys, Jock Peterson, they're all playing very well. Um, but I think that the Mets are going to take this one, actually. I think they're going to upset the Dodgers. Um, I think... I don't know if it's even that much of an upset, but it's just, I guess, an upset since because the Dodgers have the better record and all of that. So I think the Mets are going to move on to the NLCS and face the Cardinals. I, their team's just clicking on all cylinders right now. I'm not, I'm not saying the Dodgers aren't. Um, the pitching, pitch, obviously the Dodgers have really two really good pitchers, and the Mets still have really good pitching. They have Harvey, Mats, um, DeGrom, who's probably going to start the first game, and of course Bartolo Colon and a couple of others but um, yeah I think they just have the more complete pitching rotation I know they don't have those two elite guys like the Dodgers do but the Mets just have complete pitching and I know the Dodgers have some offense but I think the Mets are just clicking on, clicking on all cylinders right now and I think they move on to the NLCS so we'll move on to the ALCS it's going to be if my predictions are correct the Kansas City Royals after defeating the Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays after facing the Rangers. Now this is interesting because the Royals locked up home field advantage for the entire playoffs. So the Blue Jays are going to have to play four out of the seven games on the road if it goes a full seven. So it's going to be interesting to see how they react. Um, but in the end though, I'm just going to cut right to the chase. I'm going Blue Jays in this one. I think they get back to the World Series. I know they don't have home field advantage. Um, it's the first team since the Mets, actually, that uh, I would have predicted to win without home field advantage. And I, they just they have such a complete team. They really do. With Troy Tulowitzki coming back, all the pitching that they have, all the offensive firepower that they have. Again, I'm not saying Kansas City doesn't have this. Um, I think they could they could also go to the World Series, but in the championship series, I think I'm going to give this one to the Blue Jays. They're just like the Mets, clicking on all cylinders right now, and Kansas City is a good team, but I just think that it's going to be too much to handle um, when facing the Blue Jays. So I have the Blue Jays winning the ALCS over the Royals and going into the World Series. So we'll go to the National League side of things, and we have the St. Louis Cardinals hosting the New York Mets. Now, the Mets actually got pretty far. A lot of people wouldn't predict them. Maybe people would have predicted the Blue Jays. People were probably predicting the Kansas City Royals and the Cardinals, but the Mets are the surprise team, and if my predictions are correct, they're in the NLCS against the St. Louis Cardinals, and the Cardinals are a pretty good team. They haven't been doing as well as late, but again, just like the series against the Pirates, I just think that they're a more complete team right now, more experienced team right now, um, the Mets are clicking on, clicking on all cylinders, but it's a whole different game when you're in the playoffs. I think it's enough to get them past the Dodgers, but when they face the Cardinals, the Cardinals just have so much. They just know what they're doing, and they're going to get past the Mets, and they have home field advantage, which helps. And I know the Mets are going to be good in the future, but I think as of right now, they're just not good enough to get the World Series. I have the Cardinals going to the World Series, which means your World Series matchup is the Toronto Blue Jays and the Saints. Louis Cardinals. So that brings us to the final two. Who's going to win? It is going to be in Toronto as AL won the All-Star game. So the home field advantage belongs to Toronto, which is very good. And that's a very important key piece. Um, the pitching is, I would say, in favor of Toronto. Um, it could go to St. Louis, but I, with Adam Wainwright injured, that's a pretty big blow. I know he's going to be playing, but he's not going to be starting. Maybe he'll be, maybe he'll be starting at this point. But um, I think that the Blue Jays just have 
a really complete team. I also think that the Cardinals have a lot of experience. And here's the thing. The reason the Cardinals beat the Mets, because the, it's not like the Mets didn't have a good team. It's just the Cardinals had a good enough team with more experience. And if the Mets just had, I guess, they had, they're all clicking on all cylinders. This is a very tough one. I already know what I'm going to say, but I just, I'm trying to say it in the right way. I think that the Toronto Blue Jays are going to win the World Series. And this is why. Because they have a complete team, and I'm, I'm comparing them to the Mets. This is kind of different because it's AL and NL with the whole designated hitter and thing. They're two different. You're comparing apples and oranges here. They're just two different types of teams. But I think that Toronto has such a high-powered offense team that has some pretty good pitching as well that it's just too much. It's too much for anyone. That's why they get past the Rangers. I mean, look at, look at who they're beating on the way, if, if I'm right. They're beating the Rangers, who are a very hot team right now. They're just going to be too much for the Rangers. Same with the Royals. The Royals are a very good team. They could easily go to the World Series. I could be wrong. But I think that they're just going to be too much for the Royals. And if that continues, they're going to be too much for the Cardinals. And I think the Cardinals, like I said, they have a lot of experience. I'm not sure how many games this is going to go. Um, some of these, you've noticed I've had predictions for the games. Some of them I haven't. Um, I would say the Cardinals would probably beat the Pirates in five. I think I already said that. Um, and then the Mets and the Dodgers, I think it could go to four games to the Mets, maybe five. I don't think it's going to be sweeped. Though. I think it's the Mets in four. And then if we go to the championship series, it could go six or seven for Kansas City and Toronto. And it could go, I'm going to say about five or six for St. Louis. But we go to the World Series, and I think it's going to be six games for the Toronto Blue Jays. And I just, like I said, I just think they're too much for really any team in this bracket. I think that they're the best team in this bracket, the most well-built team. Yeah, they don't have experience, um, but they have guys that have been in the playoffs in the past. Russell Martin um, being in a spot with the um, Pittsburgh Pirates in the wild card. You have Josh Donaldson, who's been in the playoffs the last few years with the A's. Uh, you have David Price, who's been in the playoffs before with the Rays and before that with the Tigers, or after that recently with the Tigers. And I know they don't have... A team experience together because the Blue Jays haven't been doing too well in the past few years but I just think overall they're just too much to handle for the Cardinals I think the Blue Jays win the World Series in six games and that will conclude my 2015 MLB playoff predictions again I know there's gonna be a lot of controversy let me know what you think is gonna happen in the comment section below I'm interesting to interested to see and hear what you guys are going to say but good luck to your team obviously if your team is in the playoffs hopefully they win for your sake um, but hopefully my predictions are right for my sake so again i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to go ahead and like this video up comment down below who you think is going to win each series or and or the championship the world series and i will catch you guys in the next video peace